welcome to the Pure Energy Healing Academy. Welcome to Matt Bayeski YouTube channel. Right at this very moment, my heart is releasing tension. Releasing the thoughts, the worries, all here, releasing. In fact, I feel like I just need to breathe constantly. Releasing the toxins. You see, if your physical body is in a state of anxiety, the reason why is the root cause is what we see and what we feel and what we hear. Why am I playing this music right now? Gregorian French chant out of the two decades that I've worked as a healer, as a modern day Ghostbuster as a cleanser and clearer of negative energy that people truly can't fix. The plumber can fix a leak, of course. Electrician can fix electric. And so on, but butterfly. But when there is nothing to fix and they can't find the reason why certain things happen, then a fraction of the world, only a fraction, 5%, even 4 or 3%, look for alternatives. Why, why is my mirror or mirrors breaking in the house constantly? Why is the tap running all the time? Why is the lights switching on and off constantly? Why are there strange things happening and yet whoever I bring to the house, they can't find an answer. Everything looks fine. Well, in those 20 years, I've been called to various houses around the world in many, many different countries, many different countries. Not only houses, but churches, pubs, restaurants, wine bars, just buildings. And the one thing I, I found by playing certain music, certain frequency, that, and I'm not religious at all, but this, there is something about Gregorian French chant that helped my work tremendously. Now, not every home had an issue. In fact, very few. But the ones that really did have an issue, this was the music. Today, we're gonna to talk about one particular crystal that I haven't talked about before, I don't think. And I often wonder why I don't talk about it. But you know when a crystal serves a purpose more than any other purpose, and that purpose doesn't really affect most people in the world, then why would you talk about it? And I guess that's really why I haven't talked about this crystal. And it's a very important crystal. It's very important to me over my two decades it's been very important because it's been with me at, at moments that I I can't really explain the power of this crystal just like the power of this music so I'm going to introduce you to this crystal today it's been many years since I had this crystal but about a year ago, maybe two, I came across these beautiful 
crystals that were offered to me and I was reluctant to begin with because I thought they're not really going to be for just our normal day life because they function in a much more unusual energy than most crystals. Well, that's my experience. But I thought, okay, let me get them. So I worked upon these crystals. I think around about a hundred of them I got. And I worked on round about 40 or 50 that I wanted to mount. And I have one around my neck now. So I, after I finished working with them for about, I think about a month, eight weeks, I wrapped them very carefully and sent them to Bali. And they were returned to me. It took a long time, which was very strange because they had many other crystals thereafter and, and not so many before. So it's like, why haven't they arrived? But they always arrive at the right time. So they're here in front of me, and I'm going to show you them now. Oh, as soon as I go up to my head, what a pain <laughs> in my head. They're cleansing crystals for sure. Welcome, dear friends, to the world of Black Moonstone. An incredible crystal. See if I can show you this crystal by home. Like Moonstone, it has this beautiful shine inside. There's also another name for it, which is Black Felspar. But I've always known it as Black Moonstone. Two Black Moonstones in my hand. When I first started doing the work, they were given to me by a Wiccan. And I kept them safe and she said they're very special. She'd had them for about 15 years. And they were probably this size. And they were round, they were spheres. And um, she said, tell me, how you feel when you work with them. She knew I was going to um, a very special event and I was going to play a part in the event. And it was another night with a shaman. My work was always separate from shamans. I had just enjoyed their energy and their work and I would do my work, which would be very different. Mine was just on a pure healing mode and theirs were kind of magic. But this night was very special to me. And for some reason, it wasn't due to exha exha exhaustion. It was, it was just like it felt right. So I asked the shaman, would it be possible if tonight I would not work alongside, but he just do the work and he was very happy. This happened a few times actually, that I needed that, that time to heal. So I remember sitting down and I had two pieces of black moonstone. They were in my pocket and they were going to be used on that night as I was healing. I remember I sat down and the drumming started and I had both black moonstone in my hands and they were closed. And as the energy in the room started to manifest, I could feel these two crystals in my hand becoming warmer and warmer and warmer until they actually melted into my palms. At that point, I didn't feel weight. I didn't feel any crystal in my hand, but I felt what can only be described as a vortex portals, energy, which was very different from any other energy I felt. Moldavite is a different energy, but this was very unusual. And I felt the energy run through my arms, up to my shoulders, through my neck, 
up to my nose and then the same portal, the same twister started moving around my third eye. And then it went up to my crown chakra and I could feel this amazing energy. And the more the drumming was coming closer, the more that this was manifesting. And I wasn't frightened, but I made a decision to go with it. I said, I'm not gonna hold back, I'm just gonna go with it. The sweat was pouring down from my forehead, all down. I could feel it going into my eyes, but my eyes were closed. And I remember wiping my eyes a few times because I was getting so hot. And a bit like the Moldavite flush, but this was different. Something was happening. I could feel something so profound that the download, the information of not our world, but worlds within worlds, I was becoming more connected. I was feeling more, sensing more. I think my hearing was one of the most important things and that was I was hearing things for the first time, actually voices. And that was very, very powerful. And I was almost to the point where I peaked. I opened my eyes to hear if it was somebody next to me talking and it wasn't. So there was a lot of senses taking place at that moment. That was one of the most special nights that I've ever experienced in the field of work that I uh, that I do. From that moment on, Black Moonstone became part of my daily work as I left from my mountaintop village. I think the first place I went to was Italy and there was a lady who was in a very bad situation and I went to her home it was a very very beautiful house and she was she was very bothered by voices and I took these two black moonstones out and placed them into a hand and placed my hand on top of her, a third eye, and then both hands on both ears, and then on the crown chakra and the heart chakra at the same time. Within that hour and a half to two hours, she went through the same as I went through. So after we'd finished, she explained her experience of the vortex, the, the feelings of the twister, the energy of the, it was so profound. And after an hour, she found her peace. She found her balance. The acceptance had come through and um, thereafter she was fine. Just one healing session it took and um, she's a writer now and she talks about many subjects, which I think was part of the journey of the experience of opening up to certain things that we're not used to and we don't want to know because we're frightened. Because something that we don't know, we instantly are fearing. And only the brave go where others don't. And I think this crystal is definitely that kind of crystal that gives you the confidence to go to places where others won't go, whether that's on an earthly level or a spiritual level. This crystal is a crystal that helped me attune to spirit in houses, in pubs, in wine bars, in cellars, all over the world, wherever I was, it helped me attune and feel, but it also protected me in those moments. It helped me vibrate to a, a whole new level where I, I weren't affected. I wasn't affected. I wasn't attacked. I wasn't uh, entered. Nothing attached to me. So 
it's a profound crystal, but here's the double-edged sword for me, where as I speak about this crystal, this crystal only works, in my opinion, to its best when you are in the experience of that I speak about, which is very rare. So therefore, what else does it do? This is where I become a little bit, um, I'm not so sure, because all I've ever done with this crystal is work with it on that kind of level. So I guess I introduced her to a powerful crystal that for me, I not really talked about because it's a very unique crystal for a very unique purpose. But I'm always open to listening to people who work with black moonstone and I often hear that it helps them in so many ways magically. A lot of Wiccans and, and witches uh, like this crystal a lot and they use it on many different kinds of spells and stuff. I don't really know about that but what I do know is my work with this crystal. So it's a specific crystal to me and I can only go with my experience. So what I share with you, with these few crystals that I have, I will put on my website and write a very similar kind of description. And I guess these will only sell to a few people who are tuned to it and understand what I'm saying. And maybe, just maybe, it might help you. The great by the bed. The wonderful by the bed. Lucid dreams is definitely something that they they bring out. There's a certain kind of magic when you hold them and a certain kind of frequency that they give you which is very different from all of the moonstone. So there you go. That's my understanding and reluctancy a little bit of talking about this crystal because it's like, well, I don't have spirit in the house and I don't have bad things happening and, uh, you know. Well, this is my experience and um, this is all I know about this crystal and maybe you can share your information about Black Moonstone. Hey, we're all here to learn. So go and support your local crystal store if it feels right and ask for Black Felspar or Black Moonstone and give it a try and see how it feels for you. Or you can go to markbayeski.com and choose one of these 40 pieces that I've worked on lovingly. I hope you love them as much as I love working with them. Take care. Have a great day. See you in a few days for the next Pure Energy Healing online and interactive course. Link below. See you soon.